Welcome to this video on Oracle Database Multilingual Engine or MLE Early Adopter available at apexea.oracle.com. Hello, my name is David Peake, Senior Principal Product Manager for Oracle. So by going to apexea.oracle.com, you can simply click on this request a workspace, fill out a short survey and then respond to the email to be able to grant it access to the early adopter. One very important thing to understand is that MLE is not available as part of any database release. It's planned for a future database release and this early adopter is so that you can go and test JavaScript and Python within the database and also provide us with feedback. I'm just going to go ahead and sign in and you'll need an Oracle account in order to sign in. If you don't already have one, you can create one. Make sure to use your valid email address and I'm just going to sign into my workspace. And now I'm inside of the Oracle Apex development environment. You can provide feedback using this link here. You can also look at the documentation using this link, but I'm actually just going to go and look at the announcement, which has several great examples that you can use to test out the functionality. So this will give you a lot of very useful information, but I'm going to go straight down to the examples. And in fact, I'm just going to pick up this example here, which is a JavaScript example, and then show you how you can run that within Apex. So within Apex, we have the application builder for building applications and SQL Workshop, where you can actually go into SQL commands here. And up the top here, you'll see that you can actually change it from SQL and PL SQL to JavaScript or Python. And I'm going to change that to JavaScript. And then I'm going to run this particular script. And you'll see that it's given me the output of the day, month, and year that I'm running this. So if we go into SQL Workshop, and then to Utilities, we will find Sample Data Sets. Uh, you can also find that from the menu by going down through here and get to the same place. And we want to install the EMP and DEP. So I'm just going to click on Install, click Next, and then finally click the Install Data Set, and then just exit out of there. And that has now created the EMP and DEP tables within our schema so that we can actually go and run some additional JavaScript against that table. So I'm just going to go back into SQL commands and I'm going to go back over to the blog post here. And we're going to get this second example here where we're actually sending in some parameters. These parameters here, a thousand for the salary and 30 for the department. And let's look at our results. So these five people are in Department 30 with a salary greater than 1,000 based on the code that's put in here. Next, what I'm going to do is show you how to install the sample application. So we're just going to go up the top here to App Gallery and then click on Custom. And you'll see this MLE plus Apex sample application. And so I'm simply going to install that application. and now run the application. So this is showing off how you can utilize MLE within Oracle Apex. And I need to log in using my username and the password that I set when I first logged into my workspace. And if we go down and have a look at the examples here, you'll see that each page talks about the contents of the page and the code that it's using. And you can see that it's actually using binds here to actually get the item off the page, which is P2 output, and responding accordingly. Similarly, if we go and have a look at the simple input form, you can see that this one is using the validator JS, and then this is the page contents. And of most importance here is it's running through and using that validator to make sure you put in a valid email address and then it's also making sure 
that the name that you enter is between 3 and 20 characters. So I'm just going to put in two characters here and an invalid email address. Okay, and then we're going to submit. And you can see the two errors that have been raised. Let's use the developer toolbar now to go back into Apex and modify one of the validations. So this is showing you the application in what we call Page Designer. And this is the rendering tree showing you the different components on the page. I want to go to Processing, which is where the validations are defined. And I want to change this first validation here. So instead of three characters, we're going to just define five characters. You can see in here that we've defined this as a JavaScript function body returning Boolean. We can also define a JavaScript function returning an error text. So now let's go and have a look at the JavaScript itself. And instead of three, I'm just going to simply make that five and click OK. And I'm going to change the error message to be five to 20 characters. And once I save this, it's saving it as metadata, and then I can run this page immediately. So first, I'm just going to make it four characters and submit it. And you'll see that the error is coming up. If I change it to five characters or more, then it will succeed. So enjoy utilizing JavaScript and Python in the database, and please make sure to provide feedback. Thank you very much.